and we're going to go back to its first up run out the back here at Randwick uh, just over a fortnight ago and what we're going to see is a comparison soon on just how slowly they went. So the race shape was completely against Time Quest. Thunder Lips was rock hard fit, out in front, had all favours, and just had that nice little bit of turn of foot. And Time Quest comes around the turn, only coming off one soft trial, and the market probably said needed the run. But have a look at sectional breakdown across the board. So fastest last 600 metres in 34.07, about a length and a half faster than the next best. But then it's six to the four, four of the two, a very strong 10.91, and then that 11.65. I actually thought he was going to go on with it here and win. I really like his action and how he knuckles down, but I think he just peaked on his run that final 50 metres. So he can only improve off this effort from a ratings perspective. All he has to do is reproduce that, but I think he's actually going to improve again. So right. that's why I think the $2.40 is a fair enough price, although I do think we get better. So 1,400 metres race comparison against obviously Fangirl, the Group 2 Apollo. This just shows how slow they went. So even when you take in the adjust, the 78 versus the Group 2, um, the Apollo, as I said, it's just they've gone such a slow tempo. So that 37.07 was about eight lengths slower than Fangirl's race. And then the 49.15, about 11 lengths slower. So mathematically, it was always going to be such a big effort for that horse to run on and hit the line the way it did. And you look at its fastest last 200 metres across the whole entire meeting. There he is down at the bottom. So the visuals um, were backed up by the clock. Tank fastest, 11.65. Drawn wide. But the Warwick Farm 1,400 metre shoot's quite forgiving. So I think you just find a back and rip down the middle of the track for us. Hopefully, Benny.